Good morning from my little place out here, the Quilted Chicken Farm. It's a Saturday morning. The mail's already run. I had a package I was wanting to send off to Anna, but the mail come before I got it ready. But she did leave me a box in my big mailbox. You know, a few weeks ago we put up a big mailbox, and now she don't have to go to the house every time because she can bring them and put them in the box. And I had that in the box, and... I had a pattern in here, too. Oh, sticker. Thank you for supporting my small business. Well, I supported somebody on Etsy, and that and y'all support me, so I guess it, it, it goes both ways, don't it? I, I'm going to open this. This is a motor box. I think I know what it is, but, but we're going to look at it. Get my Jackie knife here. We're going to call this Jackie. Because Jackie was good enough to send it to me. It was really sweet of her. I, Miss, Miss poor Wayne Hattie's big butcher knife that I was using. But this is better and safer. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close it up now. And it closes all the way up. So I'm safe. What is it? Well, I can't see yet. All I see is that right now. Let's take that. Oh, I see. Let me look at this packing ticket real, real quick. Real, real quick. I see layer cake. I see jelly rolls. And I think that's fat quarter. Yeah. I finally... Nope. It's only... They didn't send the jelly rolls. Let me go back. Quantity ship. Zero, zero. But... I got the layer cakes to the Chelsea Garden. Actually, I have eight of them. They're wrapped up there. And I've got six that match it. They're, they're right back there is the six bolts that I have to match this. But let's open this up and look at one of them, okay? Real careful here. Just the plastic. It's Saturday, and I've got the little shop opened up today. I'm sure a lot of people will be, do East, be doing Easter things, and they probably won't come by. But I'm going to mess around up here for, for a little while. This, this is a layer case from Chelsea's Garden. <laughs> Can you see them? Yes, they're pretty. That, that would make lots of pretty things. But that's all that was in that box was eight of those. $37 each. Let me know if you need some of this or some of the yardage. You want me to show you the yardage right quick, too? I will, real quick. And then we're gonna I'm going to show you that other pattern. There. There's the yardage that goes with my Chelsea. Go that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's, but that would sure make a pretty something, wouldn't it? All right, back to, back to one more thing. I wanted to show you this. I made this one a couple years ago. Oh, 2020, I made this little pattern for the grandson. And I found, and I downloaded it, so I had it printed out. But I got a what you call a hard copy of this pattern and this is a missouri star pattern and it's called happy hearts and i just thought you guys might want to try to make one this is what it looks like you see the heart this 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 part up here makes a heart and then we got the pinwheels but you know what it uses it uses, where's that other one? I'm going to show you this one. This is the new one, Find and Wonder, that came the other day. But it uses a layer cake, a layer cake of, of a print, and a layer cake of a white, actually. And you take both those pieces, and you sew them, to, you put them together, you know, right sides together, and sew around them. And then, let me, let me look right quick. Make sure I'm remembering right. Oh, so all the way around the four sides, 
and then you cut it and so then you have what one two three four half square triangles that you put together to make that design so I just thought some of you guys might want to try that because I'm going to do another one someday, but I've got a long, another someday list. But look at these. Let me show you those. That would make a sweet baby quilt. Let's see how big is it. It's, it's 73 by 73 in the blocks. You'll make four blocks, I guess, 30 inches to put together to make the quilt. This one has a pretty little tulip applique in it, but I just think the hearts and the pinwheels are pretty. But that would make it pretty. I I think these would be pretty. I, I love country colors. I really do. Or how about one with this bees? Now, wouldn't that make a pretty one too? Look at those. I'd have a hard time deciding what to do. In this one, let's see what's in this one. Don't wanna let's see what these colors look like. And this one's called Stitch Garden. Stitch Garden's what this one's called. Look at that. Make that for a sewing friend. Can you see that? It looks like cross stitch. Those are pretty perfect purple cross stitch in that one. So any of these layer cakes, and I think I've only got two of these. This is Kona cotton solids, 42 white pieces, but I could cut you some too. We could probably work out something else because I've only got two of these. And they're, they're 17, and this is 37, so that's what that is. And let's see, I'll have to look up a price on this. I don't know what to... I don't want to charge on that. Wouldn't be much. I could kit you up something and, and you could make a pretty quilt. <laughs> but don't forget, we got these now. There's just too much to pick from. Too much to do. Too many things we want to do. And my favorite thing is starting a project, I think. I don't, I bet you almost you could use them charm packs and make that too. If you had three or four It'd, it'd probably take four charm packs because I think you use all the. No, select 25 10 inch squares. So 25 is all you need. So you still have a you still have a whole bunch of them left over. But you could put them around. Maybe make it bigger by putting them around the outside. You fit you you could figure out something. There's lots of ways you could play with it. But there's the heart. There's the pinwheel. And there's what the what the quilt looks like finished. That's all I've got to show you today. I don't know. I don't know if I'll have any customers today or not. Maybe you guys will send me an email, Quilted Chicken Farm at, at uh, gmail dot com, and tell me what you want. Leave your address so I can figure the shipping, and I'll add it up. I'll add the tax, the Arkansas tax out here and the shipping and I'll get it in the mail to you Monday morning and I I do PayPal I'll send you a PayPal invoice if I have all the information and we will work together won't we we'll support each other I'll help you guys get price, fabric at competitive prices and you'll help me buy more to share with you I'm not doing this for the money. I, I'm i not a rich woman, but I'm not hurting for money. I'm just doing this because I kind of enjoy it, and I think it's fun. I don't know why I waited till I was retired to start it. Well, I know why I did, because we used to have a quilt shop in Johnson County in my area, but then when it had to shut down for, well, for health reasons, then I just decided, well, let Rita do one. And Terry kind of shook, my husband shook his head just a little bit. But he's he's went along with me. He's built the shelves. They're not finished. Still need to put something around the top to decorate them up. And when these get full, I keep begging him for some more. I said, go ahead and start the other ones because I'm going to fill them up. I really am. May not be this week. May not be this coming week. But in the following weeks, I'm going to add more and more and more. And I hope more and more goes out. 
I kind of keep my little mail lady busy picking up the packages. Some, I've got a big mailbox, and, and it, I don't put them in there at night. I have to put them there in the morning because I just, you don't trust everybody. So I put them in there, and she has to stay out there for a while, sometimes scanning them packages and, and getting them because sometimes it, the box will be stuffed full, and sometimes I'll give her a dozen eggs. And she stopped yesterday on her mail route and bought a wind spinner from me. Should maybe I shouldn't tell that, but she saw him hanging in the window, and she said, "How much you want for one of them?" Wish I would have just gave her one, but I didn't. I I quoted the price, and she grabbed grabbed her money and and went up back on her on her route to and went back to work. <laughs> a rural life is different than a city life. See, in rural people, country people is different than city people sometimes. But we're good different. All right. I got things I got to do, and I've got to get this video uploaded. Anyway, if you want something, let me know, and we'll, we'll work it out. I love y'all. Bye now. Have a blessed Saturday.